Alright, hold on. 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 It is like a thousand degrees in here. Um, yeah, like really, really warm. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, but this is where I keep my boat and ATV and lawnmower and rods and kind of stuff. I have a super old house, like not super old, it was built in 1942, but it's old enough where I can't keep my boat or truck in the garage. So gotta keep it in here. Bought this thing this spring, I'm pretty sure I made a vlog about it and just never edited it because that's kind of what I do. So we are gonna go over today the entire boat and unfortunately why I'm selling it. But before we do that, gotta get it cleaned up because right now it's absolutely filthy and ain't nobody wanna see or see pictures or talk about or even look at this boat until it's cleaned up. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. Look at this, you can tell I haven't been back here in a while because I've been traveling for work because this thing like just randomly grew up. like. Got my nice my own little tree inside my greenhouse here or something or another. But uh, yeah, boat's a disaster, stuff everywhere. Last time I went fishing was probably two weeks ago or three weeks ago or some crazy thing. Just been working too much, but got to clean the boat up today. And again, we're gonna go over exactly why it's going up for sale. All right, bet you thought I was gonna go a long ways with that, but we're literally gonna park it right here because I got a hose around the corner, I'll seep into the grass, and that way I don't have to pull it out through the yard or whatever. But unfortunately, because I have a smaller house, this is the process I have to do literally every time I wanna use the boat. Gotta hook it up to the ATV, and drag it up here, go over the curb. Usually my truck's not sitting there, it's flip-flopped and kind of backed up to it, and then reel it in there, and then unhook the ATV, and then bring it all the way back, and then park it, close the garage, and then do the whole thing over again when I wanna go fishing. It's just it's unfortunately not a great system but it's the best of what we got and until i can buy a bigger house with a bigger garage or maybe i'll just turn this into a driveway or something i don't know but for now it's the best option we got which is totally fine honestly because it's not that big a boat and it's not that really that big a deal doing this whole thing anyway we are going to clean this guy clean it clean it clean it clean it clean it because it needs it because it's all sorts of nasty i mean look at all the dust up here like it's just not like me that's what happens when you when you work too much so we're gonna clean the boat i wish i could just like throw the camera up here and it would just go So either I'm way out of shape, or this is a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be, but either way, I need a water break. Um, the boat is washed, waxed, now I just have to rub off the wax and then do the inside, um, and then do a little vacuuming, probably a little organizing, and then we should be ready to show you guys the ins and outs of the boat. It's kind of a shame because um, the gear on it only has been on there for literally like four months, so I never really even had time to make a video of like walking through the units and stuff like that, but the good news is, is whenever you try and sell a boat, Usually it means you're getting a boat, but we're gonna touch on that later. Whew. All right, into the boat is clean. Um, I just did the compartments like literally, I don't know, a week ago, two weeks ago. That's a lie, probably like a month ago, but I've only fished out of the boat like twice since then. So I don't think there's gonna be anything the requirements that really needs to be cleaning just maybe a little organizing got a bag full of crap that was just junk sitting on the bottom of the boat now i will probably put a couple things away go get the big camera and do a sick little slow-mo call out thing 
for each thing on the boat that I'm selling. Or, yeah, that's not right. I don't know why I said that. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm gonna get the big camera out and take a bunch of cool shots. That's it, that's what I wanna say. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that. That's just, uh, like I said, every little vlog or whatever video I make, I like throwing a little B-roll in there, it's fun. Um, let's go over probably my favorite thing in the boat first, because we're gonna touch on everything real quick. My favorite thing probably is right here. And that's the Ultrex. Uh, keep in mind, all this Hummingbird, Minn Kota stuff, towns, units, everything, went on the boat about, I don't know, four months ago. So it's all 2019 brand new. Obviously you guys know what the power of the Altrex is. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, Spot lock is like game changing. I also have the remote with it, the one, um, the iPilot Link remote comes with the boat. That has uh, all the programmable stuff you can do from there or in your units on a remote. So if you wanna throw in your lanyard, you wanna concentrate on fishing, whatever it is. Next we'll go to these two units. There's two Helix 10s. Again, put on about four months ago. They're probably a little dirty right now, but they're, uh, they work great. I like having two units. I like the way they're stacked too. Um, usually the front one, I'll run like graphs and 2D, and this one I'll go 360, depending on what lake I'm fishing and whatnot. Um, I'll split both screens up. Uh, yes, like I said, 360 um, up front. If you've never fished a 360, especially for smallmouth or on lakes, you're probably missing out. Uh, it's unbelievable what you can see and then where it can tell you to actually and where to cast to hit specific boulders. It's ridiculous. It comes with a spare tire. I mean, everything else is pretty self-explanatory has the raid or um it has the ranger road armor equipped trailer which is nice uh do you have a foot pedal for the talents a lot of people are asking about that and a manual switch if you want it you can take it off pop it off put in your lanyard do whatever you want with it uh going to the console we got helix 12 another remote for your talons going to the back we got two 12 foot talons with tilt brackets which is super clutch you can get that fold that thing down that's as you can see those little pegs up there that's what helps support it when it's down um I don't think uh, I don't think I'll ever ever go back to a power pole. Um, not to down power pole, they're amazing. They're state of the art at their time, and I really enjoyed fishing mine. Like there's nothing bad to say about them, but I do believe these are better. Uh, we can make a whole video about that. You can go back and forth, Ford, Chevy. I don't really care. I'm just telling you what my experience has been. I love power poles. I never fish with a boat without them unless it had talents. So it's just my two cents. Again, two 12 footers on the back with tilt brackets. That costs a couple hundred dollars actually usually. Um, layout's pretty simple guys. We got a uh, rod storage in the middle here with all kinds of stuff, containers. Both of these open up and go all the way back to here. Straps come across the rods. You guys know the deal. You guys know the layout of this boat. If you're watching this video for that kind of purpose, I mean, my guess is you already know what's going on, so. Okay, so now to go into details about why I'm selling the boat and the title of this video in general. This boat is truly, like in terms of Minnesota, uh, Midwest, whatever you wanna call it, probably uh, the best rigged fishability, size, manageable, small water, big water, boat, both there is. Uh, that's why I bought it. Um, I bought it when I was in Florida, but I knew I'd be moving up north. If you're not fishing huge reservoirs, not fishing great lakes, you're just putting into local late neighborhood lakes on the cities or when you go to Brainerd or, I mean, fishing tournaments up north, whatever you want. This boat should be able to handle pretty much all of it. The only reason I'm getting rid of this boat, and this is 100% honest truth, the only reason I'm getting rid of this boat is because I like fishing Mille Lacs too much. And when you have an aluminum boat of this size, which is 18 and a half foot or 18.9, and the wind comes up in Mille Lacs, you want to go well fish that side, but you can't because it's 20 mile an hour wind in your face. You cannot, or I should say, I will not put that boat through four footers like that. Um, some people might say, hey, screw it. If it breaks, it's insured or whatever, I don't know. I'm usually pretty good on my gear. Uh, I don't want anything to happen to it. It prohibits you from fishing lakes like Mille Lacs. Uh, there's only probably two or three of them in the uh, state where I would say, I mean, dude, any calm day is fine. And most of the days I go fishing, most days most people go fishing are calm and hardly anyone anyway. But when I get home from shooting and I want to go fish, uh, I want to be able to hop in the boat, regardless if it's windy or not, and go fish any side of Mille Lacs. And I know people are like, oh, even a big bass boat, you're gonna have a hard time doing that. And that's right, it's true. 
but uh, with the glass boat, you can stay on top of those waves a little bit better. So for the fishing that I've done up until the last five, six months here, this been, boat has been absolutely perfect. Uh, I've trailed it from here to Florida and back. It's been absolutely phenomenal. But again, I like fishing Malax too much, and for that, you need a glass boat. And in my opinion, this boat's perfect for someone who's got a cabin in the Barrett Lakes area. Um, I've taken up to Rainy Lake. Uh, I mean, any lake that you can get out of, the, out of the wind relatively easy if it happens to come up, or just if you're a fair weather guy, don't really care about fishing the wind, then America. Uh, the storage, the layout, how this boat is rigged is absolutely ridiculous. All the stuff on here is brand new like literally four months old. I bet you that Altrex has been used and put up and down less than a couple hundred times because I've only had it for four months and I've only gone fishing by a couple dozen times in four months. There's 25 to $27,000 in this boat just in electronics that I put on four months ago. Just in electronics. Uh, the boat is a 2016, although the first time it hit water was 2017 in the spring. So uh, it's been fishing or been crescent, so to speak, or started fishing. Um, for going on about two years, a little over two years, two years and a month, two years and two months. The hours of the motor, I don't know. I'm gonna find that out. And if I find that out before I post this video, I'll put it in the link below. My guess is right around 100, which for motors like this, uh, that's about like having 20,000 miles on your truck. It's uh, it's just not a lot. So um, yeah, live wells, everything works great. I got LED lights up front. I mean, I could go on and on guys about the features and little things here and there. I really don't think there's anything to talk more about. Um, right before, yeah, climb out real quick. Before I head out, if there's any more information you guys wanna know about this boat, any more little details, big details. I'll have pictures of it eventually, of course. If there's anything else that you guys need to know, that are dying to know, the layout, how it's situated, the whole nine yards, um, just give me a shout. I'd be happy to, I'd be happy to answer. Um, there's really nothing about this boat that I wanna hide. Uh, I mean, it's got the wear of about a two-year-old boat couple nicks here and there um, but again the values in the electronics and the stuff that was put onto the boat and uh, and again I'm all those guys that's kind of freaking nitpicky about how he takes care of his boat so this girl's been taken care of I want to see it in a good home for sure all right guys if you're not interested in a boat that's fine but if you know someone who might be interested in this boat please tag him in the comments below uh, it would help me out I want to find a home for it it's too cool of a boat to put on some auction site or something like that or return to a dealership I want to try and get it in someone's hands that I know and loves fishing I would enjoy this boat as much as I have. So appreciate it for watching guys. Again, any questions, make sure you let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that little button down there, subscribe, and hopefully we'll get this girl sold. Thanks guys. Ooh.